how to secure a mobile fleet. With all the different devices coming into an enterprise, personal as well as employee-owned, administrators need to be ready for them. Most NDM vendors today will tell you how easy the solutions are to manage and how fast you can be testing, hosting, and rolling out in production. As far as the administrator console and hardware experience is concerned, this may be true. However, the most difficult and time-consuming part of a mobile device management rollout is not the hardware, but rather the deployment to and provisioning of the users in your organization. Administrators need a solution that can assist them in provisioning of users once they have established their acceptable use policy and guidelines, and then allow them to differentiate their management policies for employee versus corporate-owned devices, thus giving them the assurance that their data is secure and that they are legally covered as well. For a lot of employees that are using corporate-owned devices, provisioning and management is fairly straightforward. As the owner of that device, you can set the restrictions as strictly as you want, requiring password, simple password, length of password, complexity. You can force encryption. For some devices, you may even be able to turn off face-to-face -face chatting, their app stores, whether or not they can surf YouTube. And that is all well and good if you own that device. But what about the devices that are personally owned? Can you locate, track phone logs, texts, and other statistics on those devices? While the legalities of this predicament will vary by region of the world, the basic underlying principle is that you shouldn't be doing anything on a device with personal information without the knowledge and consent of that user. For this reason, we recommend foreplanning of acceptable use policies or terms of agreements in your organizations. This allows users to opt in or out of the data access that you are willing to provide. For example, if I bring my phone into your organization and request my corporate email, then you as the administrator can say, sure, just please read and sign this agreement that says we can selectively remote wipe your corporate data from your phone at will, or that we can fully wipe your phone if it's lost or stolen, or however you choose to more diplomatically communicate that to your customers. Now these are just examples and should not be taken as the universally accepted template for acceptable use policy, especially for those users in areas like EMEA, where they have much stricter protections for employee privacy than, say, here in America. But wherever you are, you will most likely have some differences in the policies that you enforce on a corporate-owned versus an employee-owned device. With Novell's Zenworks Mobile Management, we can help differentiate those devices and policies Within the Management Console, you can set up broad policies for users, groups, or even by platform, however you choose with a simple click of a button. And within those policies, differentiate between corporate and individually owned devices. That way, if you can't be tracking a personally owned device, with a simple click of a button, you can differentiate between corporate and individually owned devices within the same policy group thus limiting the amount of policy groups you need to create and the overhead of time. Moreover, with password, you may require that corporate users have complexity, whereas individual may be allowed to do simple passwords. That could flow over into encryption as well, or any other the device-specific. Security, application, or device features that you allow individuals versus corporate-owned devices to use. With this kind of ease of use, once you have established the hard part of the use policies and the acceptable terms of agreement, Zenworks Mobile Management can help you with the provisioning and deployment to your users. With add-ons like group emailing, you can email everyone and give them the layout of how to link in and access the documents to sign, the application to put on their device, and how to get access to their corporate email and get back to work.